So we observe that killer whales do raise their voices in the presence of noise. In fact, for every uh, unit that the ambient noise goes up, uh, southern resident killer whales raise their voices one decibel. So because we know they use calls for biologically important activities, um, we're presuming that when they put the extra effort into raising their voice, they're doing that because it's important for them to communicate biologically. Um, so that's the, that's the main concern is that the, the masking or, or drowning out of the calls is, does have a biological consequence. Yes, fish do hear. We think um, one of the primary reasons for making sounds is to communicate, particularly at spawning time and through courtship. So we know in many of the species that have been studied that it's the males that are making the sounds. And uh, they make different sounds at different parts of the courtship. And that the females somehow are attracted uh, to these sounds and find the males. Um, and so this also gives us the opportunity to use sounds to find habitats that are important for spawning and perhaps protect those habitats. So that's certainly one way that sound is used by fishes. In acoustics, really, in, in other countries, for example, in Europe, underwater noise now is also considered a, an indicator for water quality. It used to be that water quality would just refer to the chemical properties of the water, the temperature, the salinity, any pollutants, but noise is now, in some legislative environments, considered a pollutant and is an indicator for environmental um, status or environmental health.